Hey guys, it is Missy Beauty. I am back again. I am back with another foundation review, but this time it is of a stick foundation review. Uh, I was in Walmart the other day, actually yesterday, and I found Flower Beauty. Now I've heard mixed reviews about Flower Beauty, but mostly good ones about Flower Beauty. And they do have a liquid foundation out, but I wanted to try the stick foundations. I don't do much stick foundations. I would love to do stick foundation uh, on the go and things like that. Um, but the stick foundation that I did do prior to this one was the, what did I do with it? It was the, was it Clini, uh, Neutrogena. It was the Neutrogena, I'm looking through my drawers to get it, but it was a Neutrogena stick foundation. It was supposed to be Hydra Boost. That's what it was. Those were really stiff uh, going on the skin. It was a little bit heavier. It wasn't smooth. Um, I don't remember what kind of finish it had, but it, I just didn't use it. I should have taken them back. I think the time has expired to take them back without a receipt anyway. I'm not sure how that works. I purchased those from Target. Anyway, these Flower Beauty products right here, they are called, the full name is called Pure, Perf Pure Perfect uh, Instant Blur Stick Multitasking Foundation. Now, let me just show you one of them. I did get two shades and I'll let you know. On one end, and I'll roll this up, uh, roll this up to let you know how much product is in here. Let's see, I'm gonna keep going with this without breaking it. This is the end of the blurring um, application here. And let's take the other side off, which is the foundation. Now I did do a slight wear test yesterday. Well, I wanted to see if I reacted to it. I didn't use much of it. So, and this, you do not get much. That's the only kind of downside to this um, foundation stick is you get very little, in my opinion, very little. You get, you get more of the uh, blur stick area than the foundation. So let me just tell you, let me roll these down and I am going to, uh, I got two shades and the reason I did wear them yesterday kind of cheated, but the reason why I did wear them yesterday is to find out which color looked best on me. I thought in the beginning I was going to use the darker shade um, for contour, but the darker shade ended up actually matching my skin tone. The lighter shade um, I can use as a high, uh, sorry highlight under my eye and on my nose or conceal. Uh, dark spot. So let me just show you. Doo -doo -doo. These are the two different shades. I don't know if you can see. All right, the darker one is called uh, Mocha, and the lighter one is called Nutmeg. Nutmeg is the one I am going to use under my under eye after I apply the darker shade. Now I am going to use um, the, they both of course come with the blur stick, which I'm going to go ahead and use around the T-zone and then I am going to put uh, primer on on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead they, they are having mixed reviews on this uh, foundation. Um, you know, I want to see what I think of it. And I did want to look just to see what they're saying, maybe compare. Uh, let me go ahead and use my fingers. Now, um, people were using their brushes, which was making it streak. Uh, yesterday, I actually used, let me go in, yesterday I actually used, um, alright, so 
that's my T-zone area. Now I'm going to get a primer. Yesterday, I actually used my fingers. I'm going to do the same thing today for the under eye with nutmeg. Go ahead and put the top on that. So let me see here. I'm going to use my fingers. Um, I'm going to speed this up uh, so I don't take too much time because it's kind of like a good get ready with me. And after I put on my foundation, I will be using the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. And as you can see, this is a white, it's a see-through really. It's a translucent a little bit. I guess that, that it doesn't say does it say translucent. It just calls it universal. Flower beauty. So this is new to my channel, of course, and I'll probably bronze a little bit depending upon how I look with my butter bronzer, even though I'm still looking for a darker shade in that. I'll probably go to Ulta today for that. I didn't find it at Walmart. So let's just get started with the color mocha. I'm gonna go ahead and just put going to use my fingers you can see where I've placed the product and I will use my fingers to spread it around Alright guys, I have washed my hands after putting the foundation. You can see it's a little um, redder than my neck. However, I believe that the powder and using this lighter color as sort of my concealer around my eyes, it's not real light. I think that will help with some of it. And so I will start to work this in and see what kind of a look I get. All right. Alright guys, this is what it looks like. It is not, it's, it looks like more of a dewy finish. You guys did see me go in with the color Nutmeg after the Mocha color. Uh, and I kind of brightened up the center part as much as I could. This ring light is looking kind of bad. One second, let me try to get this ring light situated on my face. Sorry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my uh, miscellaneous unicorn brush and put the Flower Beauty powder all over my face. I should have pulled up the Flower Beauty website to actually um, tell you what this claims to do. It says Pore Perfect, which is the other side, obviously. Let me zoom out. All right, so it says Pore Perfect, uh, which is the blur stick side, instant blur stick. Um, let me look. 
look in the mirror here before I say yay or nay on that one. See, I don't have I don't have deep pores. I like this the finish on my skin because I'm not too much, I think from you guys seeing me in my prior videos, I'm not too much of a matte person even though I will review it. Hopefully I'm going to do a wear test, maybe six or seven hours. Uh, we're about to go out and about and um, let me see here. What is this? Flower Beauty. Now Flower Beauty came up from a, um, what do you call it, an actress. Drew Barrymore was the one that discovered or helped find uh, Flower Beauty. So she was the one, what does it say about this? There's reviews. That's not what I want. Do, 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 do. Um, look, I probably have to go to Flower Beauty website itself to actually, um, here's some of the shades that you would see at Walmart. Let's see if you guys can see that. It's hard to say, um, but it's hard to see actually and see the, let's see if I can go to the Flower Beauty website. I'm going to put you guys on hold for a second. All right, so here is the description on the Flower Beauty website. Um, it says, a mighty face duo for the modern world, pore perfect, the answer to an airbrushed face in a flash, featuring a revolutionary blur stick on one end and instantly refining pores or pore texture and mattifies in one single swipe. Hmm. The other end features a silky, which is true, silky medium coverage, medium coverage, because it's not full coverage. I still see some of my, my a little, a few of the imperfections there. Uh, a lot medium coverage foundation stick, which is formulated with treated pigments to conceal darkness and imperfections completely, not completely. Uh, a transformative, full-faced solution for the most flawless. Weightless formula for a second skin feel. It says crease-proof and weightless. It doesn't feel uh, heavy like some of the other cream foundations that I wear. Uh, the Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that with my unicorn brush and see what that will do. Oh, I got some on my finger. Try not to rub the foundation off on the brush because uh, it's very easily rubbed off when it's in the state where it's still moist a little bit on your face. So I'm just really stippling around. I'm not really rubbing because I don't want to rub the foundation off. Sometimes it's good to look at other reviews because then you find out where others might have um, not necessarily uh, not necessarily made mistakes, but you can find out um, other methods of doing things that might avoid the mishaps that the others went through. And putting this foundation on without a brush or a beauty sponge, I spit when I talk and it got on the foundation and powder, so I'm trying to save what I can here. But uh, yeah, this is kind of mattifying or setting what I've done, so it's not as um, shiny, and that will be giving um, this foundation a fair shot. Well, I don't know if it's fair, but a lot of people, um, with oily skin might not like this the the way it goes on dewy without using a mattifying powder like what I'm doing so 
So I'm going to go ahead and bronze with a different brush. And keep in mind, this bronzer, um, let me go in. This bronzer that I have is not, it's not really um, a deep, deep. It's called deep, but it's not one of the deepest that they have now. The Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, it is, um, it's called Deep. And that's it, Deep Bronzer. And then they have another one called, is it? Not sun kissed. I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go in with this brush here. It's an Ellen Tracy brush. Okay, I hear thunder, and we're supposed to be going out. I'm just going to brush around the edges to give some color to my mattified through powder skin. <laughs> Sometimes powder can kind of, I'm squeezing the brush here. Sometimes powder can kind of the mattifying powder can mattify it so much depending upon the powder it can give you flash black, black back and make you look a little dry around the face, paler around the face. So that warmed me up a little bit. I'm going to check the weather out and see what's going on with it. Wow. I don't think I'm gonna move until it gets I'm not going anywhere until it gets uh, a little bit better outside as far as the weather. I hear thunder. So let me, I'm going to go ahead, let me zoom in to show you guys. I need to comb my eyebrows like I always do. not going out in that till this little cloud passes but I do have to look at the radar to see if it is in fact a little cloud so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the rest of my face which would be the eyeshadow very light of course the eyeshadow and um, the lip gloss or lipstick and then I'll come back to you. Now my eyebrows look a little better. So guys, I'm gonna do that and come back to you and then we'll talk about um, whenever I leave doing a wear test and all of that. So I will be right back with my eyeshadow done. Gonna be very light. All right guys, this, I'm looking pretty matte right now. I have mattified this foundation look so that um, when I hit the outdoors there, um, it is very hot. I want to try to make this last as long as I can. Um, so I ended up, um, for my eyeshadow, sorry, for my eyeshadow, I ended up using my uh, W7 Color Me Nude. Uh, I used a little bit of shimmer. You can barely see that I have anything on. Um, let me see if I can go in. So that's really, and I, we're just going to Home Depot and some other places. It's not like we're going, but you can see how mattified I've done my skin. It's not looking cakey or anything like that. 
So we're going to see how long this will stay. Right now it is 2.45 in the afternoon uh, and hopefully I can check in. Looks like it's going to rain. Uh, hopefully I can check in at least around, I can wear this as late as 8. I can try. That way it'll give me, um, I don't know, at least five, six hours of wear test. So again, I mattified with this, the Flower Miracle Matte Universal Powder. Uh, I did also end up going in with my Physician's Formula Translucent Powder. This is... Um, something I bought from TJ Maxx quite a while ago and that's probably in addition to the Flower Beauty uh, what is also making me look uh, really matte I have also uh, used the bronzer in these areas around the edges of my um, face um, and I used the um, Sigma E40 brush for the eyeshadow I used a just a powder brush to put on the um, matte uh, mattifying finishing powder by Flower Beauty, and I used this basic uh, powder brush for the bronzer. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my day, do what I need to do, put on some earrings, do my hair a little bit better. And my family and I are going to get started. Uh, maybe I'll try to do a check-in uh, while I'm out. I don't know. It depends on how my camera um, is acting on my phone. So we will see you in about hopefully anywhere from four to six hours. Bye. Oh, and sorry guys, for those that are interested, my lips, I ended up using a um, tinted gloss by Mally. Uh, and it was in the color I have no idea. Don't you love it when I do that? But this is the color. All right. See you later. Hey guys, it is Mission Mommy. I'm back and I am ready to show you guys my face. All right, guys, I'm back. And I am back to let me scoot up to the camera so you guys can see. It's been, let's see, I started, I forgot when I started, to be honest with you, but it is now nine o'clock, so that is seven hours or over, I'm thinking. So let me just zoom in to show you what my face looks like now. Um, oh, that's, that's I, all right. Um, it doesn't look like I have any real creasing around my nose. I don't have any creasing on my forehead, really. And aside from my natural um, creasing here, it's nothing really bad here. And remember, I used another stick, a lighter stick, as like a concealer, a lighter concealer to go under here. So I'm not really, um, this is not a thick formula, this foundation. I wouldn't call it that. Now, I do have, uh, this is not a matte foundation. And if you can remember what my face looked like after I mattified it with the Flower um, Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. If you can remember what my face looked like then, um, it is definitely, let me show you that powder. It is definitely a little bit more oily around my nose area. And so I look dewy again. I do not look as matte um, as I did before. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is it. As you can see, I'm a little shiny here. But all in all, and there is still foundation. There is still foundation. Let me use this paper and see if I can... Okay, there. I don't, I'm not sure how much foundation is here, but nothing transferred onto now uh, 
right here in my nose something did transfer and that's probably why you know where it's most oily this is transfer and let's check the chin not as much transfer but I did eat and I was playing with my chin and putting my hand I was helping my daughter practice math and I was putting my hand over the um, this area here so but for the most part I'd give this foundation probably a seven this is something that I would reach for um, and put in my purse on the go if I'm in a hurry and I know I might need to spot conceal something with either the darker shade or the lighter shade again the shades that I did get was I used the mocha for my foundation shade I could figure out how to do this the mocha for my foundation shade and let me show you guys the nutmeg that I used for more of the highlighting the nose area and the under eye area this is the nutmeg so I did use uh, that for that and those things for that and let's not forget the other side which was my blur my blur um, stick area that I put in these areas here area my blur stick which I used in these areas here and for the most part I would like to say that it helped um, again I do have poreless primer I forgot the name of it already no problem primer I do have that but I did not use that um, I did use I don't think I used that I used this one that came on the back of that and I don't remember what else I used I'm gonna have to think about it all right so guys yeah that's um, I think I did if I'm not correct I think I don't think I used, it was my intention to use the No Problem Primer on top of using this or vice versa and I did not do the No Problem Primer, I only used the stick, um, I think. So I don't remember, but you'll see it in the video before this time, but I don't think I did. Um, so yeah. I did use some moisturizing stuff on my face, a uh, moisturizing oil on my face after I got out of the shower. And then after some time, I did put this on right before I put on the foundation. So that's basically what I had on my face. And as for um, this, I think this is a good blotting, not blotting so much, but setting and refreshing powder. I can also use my Fit Me powder, um, but this is a shade uh, pressed powder, so it's in the shade Natural Tan. This again is a universal and it's it has no shade. Um, also, there is this Physician's Formula Translucent powder with argon oil in it um, so yeah it's called argon wear by physicians formula all of those things are good for touching up the face with uh, if your face starts to get oily but i really believe in blotting your face before applying those powders um, i just think it's cleaner to do that like blot out the oil with some tissue or blotting paper and then go in with one of these powders or any powders that you have for that for touch-up purposes all in all I'm gonna give this foundation maybe a seven um, I think it's a great thing to put in your purse but with that said that's all I have for this foundation it did not um, really crease in any of my smile lines or my forehead wrinkles it didn't do any of that and I think even if I would have sprayed it, it probably would have helped it uh, as well. But I believe that this helped it along. Um, I don't think it would have had as fair of a chance being how dewy this is 
if I didn't use a powder. So with that said, I am going to go ahead and log off and I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you were thinking about this Flower Beauty, it is called the Pore Perfect Instant Blur Stick and Multitasking Foundation. If you were interested in that, I hope this helped. Um, I am gonna keep these two sticks the um, Neutrogena one, hydrating one that I have, I think it is too late to take it back. I didn't, I didn't like those, those foundation sticks. They were a little stiff and dry. So um, these I will keep. Uh, but I am signing off. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do, and then hit the bell button um, if you want to be notified when I post a new video. But for, I think you guys saw my thumb there. But for now, I'm gonna log off. Uh, as you can see, my makeup wore off, or my lipstick wore off, and I don't have that much eyeshadow. But after eight hours, what do you expect? I think this looks pretty good for after eight hours. But we will talk to you in the next one. Bye.